Boulder again is at the forefront of a building's revolution with a new net zero energy development called Boulder Commons. 53% of total greenhouse gas emissions in Boulder are produced by the commercial and industrial building sector, successfully reaching Boulder's aggressive climate goals of 80% reduction in community emissions by 2050 requires dramatically reducing energy use and emissions from buildings. Boulder-based nonprofit Rocky Mountain Institute and our team of Boulder leaders are proving a new market exists to address commercial real estate building emissions by unlocking leasing solutions for net zero energy buildings. With the leadership and investment of Boulder Energy Challenge, we will be setting a new precedent for high value and high performance buildings that are better for owners, occupants, and the environment. One of the most complex challenges is the split incentives issue between landlords and tenants, where tenants pay utility bills, yet landlords control the assets. Thus, efficiency costs and benefits are misaligned. We really wanted a space for our staff that aligned with our values. Being net zero energy as a building and then us coming in as a tenant that's a really unique offering in today's market. Well, our goal for Boulder Commons is to demonstrate net zero sustainable development. Our goal is also to make sure that they're connected to the community, not standalone buildings. And then finally, we want to show that we can create commercial returns that ultimately are equal to or better than traditional real estate funds and hopefully grow over time and create a little spread between traditional real estate funds so that we actually make a little bit more as energy prices go up and operating costs go up. RMI anticipates that by scaling an approach to net zero energy leases in Boulder's commercial buildings, we can save up to 63,711 metric tons of carbon over the next three years. Plus, as cities and states step up to answer the global call for clean energy, the world is watching and Boulder will continue to lead. The buildings industry is notoriously an industry of followers. Nobody wants to go first and we've gone first and we want to share that with the Boulder community. There's a huge need to scale this model in the industry. Half of our buildings in Boulder and nationally are leased and so if we can't get our heads around a better solution that's more broadly adoptable to this issue of, of split incentives and green leasing, then we're not going to be able to meet our climate objectives. So this is a must-win situation. RMI's plan to address this issue in the industry really has four parts to it. The first part is really clearly articulating the value proposition to both tenants and landlords. The second part of this work is really best practices around net zero energy leasing. The third component that we would like to do is really a toolkit. And so we want to provide leases that others can take and incorporate different terms into their own leases. And then the last piece is we want to make sure that this information is used effectively. So we want to engage with individual building owners to make sure that if they have any questions, they're getting answered. The building also supports a lot of our mobility ambitions, such as decoupled parking and future infrastructure for EV charging and mobility as a service offerings. The next generation of high performance buildings is here, but to really take hold, net zero buildings enabled through forward thinking lease structures needs to scale. Boulder Commons is the tip of the spear in the scaling of net zero leases that benefit landlords, tenants, the local economy, and the environment. The city of Boulder is stepping up. Will you?